Creating focus. So right now we have a lot going on on the planet. Or maybe we don't have anything going on on the planet since we're all social distancing and have been sent to our corners to stay in our homes and not talk to each other. This is a great way to get the message out and let's focus on something positive. Regardless what you think or what you know about how we got here and what is going on behind the scenes, use this time wisely. Use this time to focus and really dial in how your mind works so that you're creating within yourself new patterns of thought new patterns of emotion, new patterns of awareness, and you take those tools, like that's an arsenal of resources, and you actually apply it to and project it into your current business or a business that you're creating for yourself that over time as you nurture and guide it and let it guide you and you cultivate it and turn it into something prosperous that produces a harvest for you that it grows you that it actually contributes to your life and helps you expand your relationship with yourself and the awareness that you have of who you are being as a human being on this planet. This is a really powerful, pivotal time. We have essentially switched off the human doing part of ourselves, that we were so conditioned to think that that was the only way to get ahead, that that was the only way to prosper, to build wealth, to to be able to have the experiences that we wanted to have and now we're realizing that that whole human doing side was actually depleting us it was distracting us and and it was it was taking it into a different direction it was actually pulling us away from who we really truly are and now that this pause button has been hit whatever caused it or, or, or whatever, you, whatever is happening on another level or other levels, I really would like to encourage you to just take good advantage of this time and foster you and grow you and expand your consciousness. Teach yourself to relate differently to yourself. Teach yourself to create rather than respond so that as you look around you at whatever the circumstances are they don't actually control your state your state being how you feel the the self-talk that you have your state being your ability to move forward or not many people feel crippled and and my heart goes out to those that that feel like they can't do anything, like they're powerless and they don't have any way of, of making any kind of change in their lives, my heart goes out to you because that is so not true. This is the time for you to really start to go within on a regular and consistent basis, turn off all the noise, turn off the media, turn off all the, the dialogue about you know what's going on in the world and who's doing wrong and who's creating this problem and who's who's perpetuating this issue who's how many people are dying and just all of those negative messages if you could just turn that off for just a short period of time and spend time every day just going within and connecting to yourself and meditating because when you meditate you suspend thought and when you suspend thought your mind gets quiet when your mind gets quiet then you release resistance 
and when you release resistance then you can receive uh, inspiration like you get in sync with a higher level of yourself and in that synchronization in comes new ideas and and new awarenesses and a new sense of being and a deeper more meaningful connection with yourself where you can you can pick up on messages and, and inspiration and ideas and and thoughts that you haven't allowed in before because you've had yourself so distracted by all of these external influences that you've kept yourself apart from the greatest aspect of you so as you take you forward and then project that into a new business idea or the current business that you have or a side hustle or your relationships or maybe it's your health it's the relationship you have with your body how you actually run your energy or run your thoughts throughout the day your relationship with food your your relationship with nature whatever it is whatever it is use it as an opportunity to up level your sense of awareness your sense of well-being and just know know that all is well and that you're creating and you're birthing a new you in a time where anything is possible and as we come through this whole global shutdown and and we start to come back into you know it's springtime it's such a, a beautiful time for us to to rebirth ourselves in every sense of the vor of the word you know literally literally and, and figuratively so allow yourself that space allow yourself that space to come into a place of rebirthing and trusting yourself more than you've ever trusted yourself before when you meditate when you quiet your mind when you take the time on a regular consistent basis to do that you become conscious and when you are conscious there's no fear you can't be conscious and be fearful fear is an unconscious process so when you're conscious and there's literally no fear present when you're conscious then you can't be controlled you can't be lied to you can't be held back you flourish you flourish even in the darkest of times if you drive through or walk through a forest after there's been a fire and you look around and you see that the landscape is blackened yet there's these sprouts of green popping out of these seemingly dead trees that are black and scorched and from that is sprouting these beautiful incredible awesome green leaves and new growth and new possibility and this is what I how I want you to see yourself and so bring that forward champion that foster that love that respect that and most importantly appreciate that so that is my message this is Deborah Peters that's your mind hack for the day and I look forward to seeing you soon stay positive